Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for CSAN 4, episode 9 of Drake and Josh. This time the title of the episode is My Dinner with Bobo. And we are here, we are back, and we are ready for a new episode of Drake and Josh. Uh, the previous episode was the storm episode. Uh, I feel, I still feel bad for Walter, I still imagine him out there <laughs> catching pneumonia. <laughs> I feel bad for him, but he kind of deserves that for not doing his job right. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're going to watch this episode. Uh, I am excited. Josh was on the first part of the episode and then he disappeared. I don't know what the hell he went, but yeah. Anyway, so we're going to watch this episode and we're going to see what uh, they have in store for us for this episode. Uh, I'm doing a binge like you guys no, if you're on Patreon, if you're watching this as soon as I'm posting it, uh, I'm doing a binge. I'm going to watch a few more episodes, uh, two or three more episodes. So stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, tomorrow I'm going to try, try, because like my day just got complicated tomorrow, but I'm going to try to do the uh, rest of the season between today. By Wednesday, I must be done with the entire series and with the movie as well. So cross your fingers that that actually happens. Anyway, so I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell on car reaction. Always post your first on Patreon. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it and continue to support for more. And for now, I think that's about it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And without further ado, let's just begin with season four, episode nine of Drake and Josh. Here we go. Okay, one of the things that freaks me out most about Drake is that he's totally unpredictable. It's a sound effects blaster and it's insanely loud. <laughs> what was that? I don't know what you mean. Well, it didn't sound like you were coming to the <laughs> We should get those stairs carpeted. <laughs> yeah, you guys fall a lot from, from there. Hey, you playing tonight? Yeah, my band's got a gig at the San Diego Women's Correctional Facility. That's a prison. Yeah. Women's prison? Let go. Seriously. Oh. I need the car tonight. I need the car tonight. Well, tough noodles. Dad said I could use the car. Didn't you say I could use the car? Uh -huh. He just wants to eat his but burger. Said I could use the car tonight. That is also true. <laughs> well? Well? <laughs> what do you mean, at, in peace? I need All right, now look, you run clockwise, I'll run counterclockwise. Call it. And go! Drake's so gonna lose! That's so unfair, dude! <laughs> He tricked me and took your car last night. With you last night. I forgot that We want to buy our own car. You get the money if you promise to help your mom and me do the grocery oh, shopping. Uh, and drive Megan to oh, and from her oboe uh, lessons. <laughs> Dad said I could help pick up the car. Uh, yes, and thank you for helping us decide we're not getting this one. Don't push me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bobo. Oh. oh! I love this guy. Look, no one's interested in your butt temperature problems. Mm, Dr. Fishbomb is. <laughs> Look, can you just show us something we can afford? Well, I surely can. Butt temperature problems? He's a mess. <laughs> leave our 2400 down here. Oh, am I going to spend it in the bathtub? Just leave it on the counter. Oh, fine. He's going to go and buy. Run, debris, take me away. He's going to take the money and buy it, right? I didn't even know he played basketball. Josh, did you take our money? Yes. You lied to me, did you take it? Yes. Oh, I know you took it. Drake, I want to know what you bought right now, where I swear I... <laughs> Bobo? Yeah. Drake. Drake. <laughs> so, in a few months, we'll make enough money off of Bobo to buy five cars. Have I ever let you down? Is... Oh. Uh, she, oh, well, there was a uh, consistent light. <laughs> so in my parking space, monkey? Is that a man dancing with a monkey? 
you know, Sadly, just yes. Just you set up oh. an orangutan business here without asking me? Actually, it was my idea. Oh, oh I love it. Here we go, Mr. Monkey Fun. <laughs> oh, just uh, one thing. Since I run this movie theater, I feel I should receive a percentage of the profits. Give me half the money. Okay. <laughs> you know, I thought we could make some decent cash with that orangutan, but I was wrong and you were right. Excuse me, boys. I'd like to buy this animal from you. He's not for sale. I'll give you $5,000. What? Do we have a deal? We Please? do! Yes, yeah, of course. Totally. Oh. Shall we? Start the music. Is it real, though? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You Can you catch the, 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 the check? Uh, you might want to change your attitude and start acting a little nicer to you. Uh, because we happen to be thousand heirs. She also has a lot of money. What are you doing? Doing a search on the guy who gave you this check? Dr. Adrian G. Faversham, former head of cardiology at the National Institute of Medicine, fled the country after local authorities charged him with conspiracy to purchase and consume rare primates. You sold Bobo to an orangutan eater? Oh my Bobo god. <laughs> on the check. 4286 Longleaf Drop. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's make it. If we're not back in an hour, call the cops. Oh, come on. Remember, one hour. Hurry. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. I missed you, big lovely pot. It's been far too long. Ah! $10,000 for your delicious friend. Oh, my God. Yeah, deal's off. Yeah, so just uh, take your check back and, and give us Bobo. What in, a, in a coat? Where is he? <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna call the cops! Yeah, we have a cell phone in here! Prove it. How? Play me a ringtone. <laughs> Your cell phone doesn't have Bluetooth. Yeah. I don't believe you. Show me. See? Bluetooth! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Guys! I really hope Megan's on her way. Oh my lord. Alright, put the orangutan down. Adrian Faversham, we have a warrant for your arrest. Thank you. Is that your brother's orangutan? That's him. Perhaps prison would be a good place for me to put diversion! Oh no! He's running! Let's go. Come on! First, we sell Bobo back to stand the car man so he'll have a good home. And? We buy the car I want. No way! <laughs> Not happening, little guy! It will happen. <laughs> Josh? <laughs> yep. Josh? Nice car! You guys going skirt shopping? <laughs> go, go. <laughs> no, no, it's not just a spot. Uh-huh. Titanium. Alright. Bye, Gabby. <laughs> Two seconds to Gabby. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season four, episode nine. My dinner with Bobo. Episode nine of Drake and Josh. I kind of do like the the monk. I will not touch Bobo, orangutan, monkey. It doesn't matter. I don't play with that. I I just I will get nervous. Ooh, I I I I just like very recently got not over completely, but no, yes, actually completely over my weird feeling of holding a a, a a a dog i did not have that big fear before it was little so i i was able to manage um but i don't hold cats i don't like cats i see a cat across the street um and um i don't touch bunnies i don't touch uh uh hamsters guinea pig None of it, because I can feel their 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 eh, their bones inside, you know, and like I will not be daring to touch the the orangutan. I'm so sorry for Bobo, you know, uh, but he seemed cute, and I'm glad that he didn't end up as a dinner plate, you know. Um, I was so scared. I was first of all, I was weirded out that the guy wanted to buy, uh the uh uh the orangutan bobo i was so scared because i was like what kind of weirdo what buys a monkey and dance with it and like all of that is just 
you know, it was creepy and weird. Uh, but I thought they were going to get scammed and then Bobo was actually going to be living the life or something like that, you know. I mean, but it was still going to be creepy. But turns out that it turned even more creepy. It went to Hannibal Lecter, kind of creepy, you know? And we find ourselves with a guy that likes to eat orangutans, which, bleh, you know? I mean, and also, like, this is a... I mean, I understand. Look, we it there are animals that in our heads are okay for us to consume. But then there are animals that are not. But why do we see ones? It's just because we have grown up in that. I am not vegetarian. I'm not vegan. But I do respect animals. Apparently not all of them, right? Because chickens, you know, cows, pigs, right? Turkeys, fish. <laughs> I will consume. Uh, but not orangutans. I have, uh, there, there's a line, you know? Uh, so, but I feel, I feel bad. I would have cashed the check, but I'm gonna guess that it will have bounced back, right? I mean, it wouldn't have been able to catch the, sh cash the check. Uh, and, uh, I, I, I'm so afraid that that guy's still on the loose, you know? And poor... Poor Bobo, he was about to be, you know, put into, like, a... a that was gonna be awful, okay? So, uh, I'm glad that Megan was serious about rescuing Bobo. And she actually did what was right, because she know she knew that the, the boobs <laughs> were going to do something bad. They're gonna get themselves in trouble. Uh, and she saved them, as she us usually does, and ends up doing what she wanted and bought the car that she wanted, that she thought it was cute, you know? But of course, for Drake and Josh, are, it was a, a very girly type of car. And of course, people were going to mess with them because it's a girly car. Um, but honestly, it was, it was, it was, I liked it. Well, I'm a woman, so of course. I don't know. I don't think that it has anything like the color or the flowers or anything has anything to do with the fact that, whether well, if you're a woman or a man, but like, I understand back you know, when this was airing, of course, you know, assumptions are made and like, oh, there's a car that is only driven by this or by this gender, which is not, you know, uh, but they're teenagers and of course they got embarrassed. Uh, and I think that partially, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Megan wanted that, you know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, she saved them as she usually does. Um, and she ended up getting her way, as she usually does as well. So, yeah. Um, but I felt terrible for the poor animal, you know. But I'm glad that they saved him. Um, but yeah, yeah. I love this uh, uh, episode. I cannot wait to watch the next one, which is episode 10, titled The Tree... No, not the... Da? No. It's just Treehouse, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for that. But I'm going to have dinner first and then come back and do episode... 10, 11, and 12. That's that's my goal for today. So stay tuned for that. For now, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Thumbs up if you love Drake and Josh. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Anka Reaction is always posted first on Patreon. Thank you for watching. You guys are amazing. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos. Actually, in like 30, 40 minutes for another reaction video for Drake and Josh. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye, guys.